careful with the Bible, okay? Baby, you know to do sex. It's great. Oh, of course, of course. It takes me, man of God. The preaching and all of that was a sieve. It was directing it to me. Uh, well, I felt same way too because, you know, this this man of God when they are talking like this, you know, everybody feels it personally. Yes. That shows he's in the spirit. Mm -hmm. Yes, Peter and the Word of God. Exactly. Of course, <laughs> I felt it honestly. He's a wonderful preacher, <laughs> and of truth, God speaks through him. Yes, exactly, exactly, exactly. Honestly, I enjoyed him man. <laughs> I just wish they will retain him for long in this our parish. Mm -hmm. I wish so too. <laughs> yeah. Princess, what verse of the Bible did you learn from the church today? Uh, you weren't listening, you see? It's very very You won't eat rice today. Oh. No, I'm sweet. <laughs> she won't eat rice. Princess, you're not eating rice today. Until you tell me what you learned from the church. <laughs> Look at her face. Hey. It was a wonderful service. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Madam. You're blessed. Ah, she she hey. Fine. In school, I'm sure. Please give me my holy Bible. Let's go. Hope you enjoyed church today. You enjoy service today, right? Mom, I was to go in for the party. Oh, yes. My love, I forgot to tell you. Um, her classmate invited her to her birthday party. Oh, oh, okay, okay. That's right. You're going, okay? <laughs> but first of all, we go in there, refresh, go to the swimming pool. From there, we jump into the party. Party, yes. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Let's go. All right. Yeah, baby. What about the promise you made? You don't trust me again. See, as if you don't know what I can do with it. Trust me. Within 24 hours, you must receive the alert. Trust me. Hmm? Are you sure? Not sure. Serious. It's alright. Excuse me, guys. Can I use the restroom? Of course, you are free. Okay. Might be okay. Sorry. And this girl is cute. Bro, I think you need this. Honestly, guys. I, I, I don't understand. How are you guys so comfortable? You know, sitting around with a girl in a public place like this in a bar. Man, I died. Marriage is not a prison yard. Loosen up. What's that? I don't know. True. I actually, let me tell you. What Essa is saying here is the truth. Exactly. You know why? Whenever a man sticks to only one woman, there is this tendency that you must be having issues with her over and over again. That's why you need to free yourself, freestyle yourself. See, man, man by nature is polygamous. Nature made it that way. So free yourself, man. 
I mean, it's very wrong. It's very wrong to, you know, cheap on your wife. Are you serious? Marriage is for, marriage is for better than it was. I mean, you're indebted, you all, see, is it, you leave your family to become one. Hey, princess. For you? Wow, wow, this is wonderful. You passed all. <laughs> That's my baby, come on. That's my baby girl. Look at what your daughter did. She passed everything. Oh. <laughs> you know mommy loves you, right? Mm -hmm. And Jesus loves you too. Of course. <laughs> Such a brilliant girl. And my teacher said I am a brilliant girl. And that is why I want to be a medical doctor with my knowledge so that I can be helping people and take care of you and mom so that mom will not be coughing as she's coughing. <laughs> <laughs> Baby girl, my princess. Oh. <laughs> That's, That's so sweet of you. Yes, yes. <laughs> You're going to be a medical doctor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Darling. Mm -hmm. We we are having our weekly program today in church. Remember, you promised to come with me, right? Mm. So why not run inside and dress up for church? Okay. Okay. All right. Go <laughs> dress up. <laughs> All right, my darling. <laughs> Ancestor. <laughs> <laughs> She's a saint from God. Hey, come on. Ancestors are for real. You have ancestors. One day you're going to be one. A holy one. Look at her. She said she's going to be a medical doctor just because of you. And others. Too. Mother's love. <laughs> My yeah. love, let me get her ready for church. Hey, it's all right. I'm so proud of princess. Believe me. <laughs> that's fine. She took after me. No, that's after me. She took <laughs> after me. Go away. I thought you were in there. Hey. God, I thank you so much. Ah, for giving me a wonderful daughter. I couldn't have asked for. Oh, you move now. Come here, come here. You, come, come here. You now, lie down. I'll lie down. 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 Lie Give her that gun. Huh? Give her the gun. Give her the gun. Please. You are going to shoot your husband. Yeah, please, I beg you. I'll give you them. 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 I'll you didn't say we can play, yeah? No, eh? Go back and play. No. Oh, yeah. Give her the gun. Shoot your husband. Okay, okay you didn't say we can play. You know what to do? Hey, hey, give her. Give her the gun. Yeah. Go back to you. If you didn't shoot her, eh? If you don't shoot her, I'll do your hair. You guys. Hey! 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 Counting of three, we are going to shoot her. If you don't shoot your wife now, I'm going to blow your head here. Huh? Blow, 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 blow it! I'll shoot her. One, Baby. two, two and a half. Do, do, do! Shoot her. What is that? Are you okay? Baby! 
I had a dream. In the dream, you... What happened? They... 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 I'm... I'm... I'm drovers. Yes, I'm... I'm drovers. They... 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 they, they came, they pointed a, a gun at us and... They gave me a gun and I, I was asked to kill you. Then I refused. They did the same to you. Uh, and and you, you shot me with the gun. Hey, come on, baby. You know that's not possible now. That's a mere dream. Okay? Come on. Put yourself together. Alright? Come on, baby. <gasps> what is it? Oh my god, you're in Hela. Where is it? Relax yourself. Wait, wait, just relax. 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 I'm coming. <laughs> Late for the appointment. Now. Uh, uh, darling. Daddy. Oh. Uh, thank you so much, darling. Okay. I'm good. I'm, I'm baby girl. Mommy is taking me to school this morning. Okay. And I want to be school. All right. Darling, can I come back? Okay. Please. Come on. Easy. Ah. We are set for school. Okay. Grab your school bag. What is happening? I did not tell you. I've been in my home. Oh, Rosia, you sure? See the way you're going, shining, eating your husband's work. This woman here has a lot for me. A mm. lot of body. Body. What kind of body? Is anyone saying? No, no one is saying. I had um, I had a disturbing dream about my husband. Okay. I saw my husband. Shut me with a gun. God forbid. Blood of Jesus. That will never happen. I can't sue it. No. What kind of dream is that? The Spirit of God in me tells me that Satan is at work. I feel something bad is about to happen. That is why you have to sit up and pray. Seek God's face and guidance to give you a better understanding. But one thing I know for sure is the person that pulled that gun at you in definitely will never be able to. I counsel it, it will never be able to, and that you will never come to pass in mm -hmm. Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. So you have to pray it and don't let it be a good thing. Baby girl, uh, please, my family is back. I'll get back to you, all right? Thank you. Yes, my baby. You back? Whoa, how was it? Ah, my sweetheart. Oh, baby. Uh, how are you? How was your day? Hectic. I know, I understand. Were you able to go for the attendant? Oh, yes, I did. And the doctor gave me some. Prescription, so. Oh, oh. 
So I needed to get home eat because I'm fasting. Oh, baby, you have to take it easy with this fasting. You can't be pregnant and fasting at the same time. Mm -hmm. Okay? Baby, I'm safe. The baby is safe. It's the work of God. It's all right. Let me quickly prepare a thing. I know you must be waiting for me. You don't have to do that. I was actually waiting for you to come back before I go into the kitchen to do something, okay? Um, come on, baby girl. Go up and go and change your school uniform, okay? Okay. Alright, darling. I'll do something, Joe. Alright? Okay. So you go upstairs, freshen up, come down for dinner. Okay? Come my baby so tired and worn out. Alright? I won't allow you going to that kitchen to start stressing yourself up and down again. Are you serious right now? And my back kitchen right now. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I to disobey my husband at this point? But I'm going to remain here in case you need my help. I won't need your help. <laughs> but let me get your shoes off first. Okay. <laughs> Surprise. Uh, well, um, they're not here with me today. I have a business meeting with one of my colleagues, so I'm here waiting for him. So can I join you? Well, excuse me. Yeah, you can, but uh, maybe after the meeting. You're still around, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, he's calling. Yeah, from. Excuse me. Yeah, Frankie, how far now? Yeah, are they the VIP? Just once you walk into the VIP, they say that. No, no, once you walk down to that pool side, you ask them of VIP here, yeah, you see me. Okay. That's it. Is it? Oh, my friend is here already, okay? Yeah, excuse us later now, okay? Hey, Frankie! Come up there. What's up, man? Does that look like a church? Well, cool. Guy, oh, for God's sake, what are you doing in this type of environment with all these strange women? God, just imagine. Half, half dressed, almost naked. Hey, Frankie, come on, stop that now. All work and no play! All work and no play! Mix! I know what it is now. The guy, I know what makes Jack, but uh, to be frank with you, as a married man, this place is very unhealthy for you. It's very unhealthy for you. I'm not right? living here I'm for Christ's sake. Talk, talk more of the, the ones I saw outside. I never even knew you were, you, you were here with, with, with this, this thing. 
friend. I'm not living here forever, okay? I'm just here for one or two things. And our daughter. It's all right. If she's back from school, you'll see her. A pack of her favorite fruits in the refrigerator and feed her. It's okay, I will. Make I will sure she takes her bath okay. once she's back. It's all right. <laughs> Thank you. And again, at night, please do watch it on the AC. Do not let it run all <laughs> night. Hey, baby, I know all that, okay? Have you forgotten I'm domesticated? Well I domesticated, know. so I can take <laughs> care of all that. Okay? Do not panic. Right? Just take good care of yourself for me. Okay? It's okay. Mm -hmm. I'm beginning to miss you so badly. I miss you too, my baby. <laughs> it, yeah. it seems so far. Don't worry, just a week before you say Jack. You're here. Of course. Alright? All right. Come on, come on, your flight. Let's go so we'll catch up. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I mean, I said. Nice meeting you again, man. I said, I, said, I don't <laughs> understand. I can't believe I'm doing this. You doing what? <laughs> Honestly. Now, wow. Just few butters. <laughs> hey. Hi, I'm yeah, feeling yeah. somehow already. I'm feeling somehow already, I, I must tell you. Um, You see, uh, uh -huh. there must be a beginning. Mm. There must be a beginning. You cannot start without starting, and you cannot do without beginning. So enjoy it as it lasts. Mm. Chill. Well, it feels good anyway. I, mm. I feel this. Um, you know, I have this feeling of uh, I don't know. <laughs> you know, some kind of trips though. <laughs> um, Ejek, have you considered what we discussed the other day? Oh yes, about what you told me regards to women. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Keeping one um, woman is. Uh, it's ideal for me. <laughs> I will clear this to that with just one question. How many wives do you think Abraham used to have mm. Have you asked about the exalted David, the king after God's own heart? How many wives does he marry? To the extent of even putting the man in front of the wolf to be killed so that he would take the woman. I read your Bible very well. Mm. Um, as uh, honestly. <laughs> My, my, my head is filled with some, I don't know, I don't know what's going on. Uh, yes, at uh, 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 the starting, it used, to, it used to be like that, it used to be like that. There would be yeah. kind of nervous, you know. So, 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 so tell me, so on. tell me, how do you cope with, you know, women's jealousy? Your wife will find out. What, what do I tell her? Like, I don't know. How do you cope? <laughs> you see, what we owe our wives, I mean women, is to love them. And what they owe us as men is respect. Now, part of this love that we owe to them is to keep some secrets from them. Oh. Pick a woman, lodge in hotel, enjoy yourself, and life goes on. I can't sleep outside, though, and uh, I can't lie to my wife. For oh. me, you don't lie. But you know what? Anytime I need my advice on all these things, you know who she now. Mm. You can just call on me. Hmm? It's all good. I don't know how I'm feeling right now. My head is to my home. Wow, this is heaven on earth. Really? Oh yeah, I like good things. I see. <laughs> yes. Who is she? Oh, that. My beautiful wife. Wow, she's beautiful. Oh, yeah. oh she is, yeah, I know. <laughs> Just like you. Just like you. Hey, come on, make yourself comfortable, okay? okay. Yeah, what, what can I offer you? Anything, anything, just say what it is, okay? Hmm? What do you want? Anything. Anything. Well, well, I have all kinds of drink in this house. Name it. I'll just get it for you, alright? Okay, I know what to get for you. Let me get you some tequila, you know, 
with lime and salt. So you get higher, you know, some good things, all right? Forgive me, it will never happen again. I beg you. Okay. I'm so sorry. Okay? Please stop doing this to yourself. Remember your health. Remember our baby. Okay? Please. Baby, I'm sorry. Please, I beg you. I beg you, my love. I'm sorry. Okay? Baby. Please, I'm so sorry, okay? Please, forgive your husband, I beg you. It was just a mistake. Biko, please, find a place in your heart and forgive me, I beg you, please. My baby. I, I hope you know this. Whatever you sow, that's what you reap. Oh, I. Hope you know this. Whatever you sow, that's what you reap. In this game of life, what you give is what you get. It sounds so strange but real. My love, please, I'm sorry. I am so sorry for me. I am so sorry, please. I didn't know how it happened. Please, my love. Believe me. It will never happen again. Baby. Baby. Baby, your silence is good. And those in this don't you dare touch me again I, I hope you know this whatever you sow that's what you read oh I I hope you know this, whatever you 
you so that's what you read in this game of life what you give is what you get it sounds so strange but real Whoa. if you do good you see good Let's go upstairs. So what does it take to give peace a chance? To give love a chance? Whoa, what does it take to give love a chance? To give care a chance? Tell me now I, I hope you know this Yes Mommy will be sleeping at night Don't you want me to share your room with you? I want you to share your room with you but mom, what, what happened to your evil? Don't think you're my daughter and I love you so much. So it is good sometimes to allow your mom to share with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, How could you bring an a stranger, a complete stranger, into your house? Matrimonial house, for that matter. Talk more of on your matrimonial bed. Nah, oh, come on, it's too bad now. Eh? Up to your woman, even seeing you both on the act. Hey! Uh, I'm, 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 I'm friend. I called you out here to, to, you know, talk to you so you can help me beg my wife you can help me talk to my wife on my behalf you know i, I fucked up i know frank i'm hot I, I i'm losing it frank can you believe my wife no longer talk to me i mean it, it's crazy what text do you she, she 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 even she even left our matrimonial room she now shares the same room with my daughter ex what ex what ex do you expect her to do tell me huh? what do you want her to do my you sister, you you you, you, you are ripping what you just told for God's Frank, sake. Frank, Frank, please talk to my wife. As I'm speaking right now, as I'm talking to you right now, I'm losing it. If she doesn't forgive me and keep on behaving the way she's behaving now, I might lose my life. Pico, my brother. Help me talk to her, please. Wait, wait, where exactly do I start? Frank, can you stop blaming me? I'm, I'm, where, I okay, wait, now, where do I start from now? How do I hide my face now to begin to talk to your wife? Do you tell me? Do you know how much that lady has sacrificed for you? Hey, bless me. <sighs> Sister Gloria, I want you to remember that you're not just a beautiful and virtuous woman. You're a true Christian. And as such, situations like this shouldn't be a shock to you. Don't forget that the moment Satan and the rebellious angels were hauled down to earth is to tempt us. But our ability to battle those temptations is what makes us good Christians. What Brother AGK here did is strong, condemnable by every Christian. However, do not forget that the true Lord forgives your daily sins, mine and as well as other agitators. So, you do not give the devil a chance to make your heart hardened. Please, loosen up a bit. For the sake of God, who has sent me this very moment, please. Forgive. 
la Belgique. He's only imperfect. He must have faltered. But we can't condemn him. Judgment belongs to God alone. Sister, please, forgive Brother IGK. I know that this family used to be known in the church for love, true companionship, and peace. Don't give the devil a chance. Not now. Forgive your husband. For they say, marriage is a union that is unbreakable. Once you're a Christian, you should not give way to anything that will antagonize your marriage bond. Not even the devil. So please, sister, I know how you feel. I wear your shoes. But please, forgive brother AGK. And I pray that the good Lord will restore the peace, unity, and bond that has existed in this family. In fact, he has restored it in Jesus' name. Amen. I would like you to see me after the service this Sunday. Please, do not fail. I'll be on my way. And Brother GK, don't hesitate to call whenever there is need. It's all right. It's all right, Pastor. Thank you very much, Pastor. Even if it's my love.
Gloria, I am not saying that what your husband did was right. So if you look at it, with the other people, I want you to find the place in your heart and forgive and just let go of what has happened. I want you to find peace. I want you to be happy. You deserve to be happy. You deserve all the happiness in this world. So do not give the devil that chance to take over your happiness. Go into your war room, pray and take charge. You are the pillar. So you should be in charge of your happiness. Okay? And I pray that this good Lord Almighty will give you the strength and courage to overcome everything you have been through. I promise you, you're going to be strong again. In Jesus' name. Amen. Sister Juliet, your family have been of a great source of strength in your family. Make it good for you. Amen, Sister Gloria. You see, that is why we are Christians. So I should also treat you as one. You're like a sister to me, okay? Come on. So Cheryl. Cheryl. Um, that reminds me. I have new arrivals and I was able to select some beautiful gowns for your daughter. And guess what? And a new maternity gown for you. Let me go in there and get it for you while you sit back. Relax. Level 28. That's wonderful, my baby girl. Come on, come on, you can do that, alright? Come on, continue playing, okay? Get your game. Get your game, baby girl. and say it before me. We must trash this out. Thank you. 
Hey! Oga, madame! Madame! Oh. Oga! He drive better. He be like say something like foam. They come out for madam mouth. Our village people don't. Our village people don't Life, like the morning dew, one moment here and the next gone. It is so sad how a vibrant, beautiful, and especially precious woman like Sister Gloria should be gone. But God knows the best. We shouldn't blame him. We can only rely on his promise. In the Bible book of Revelation chapter 21 verse 4, where he assured us that even though our loved ones are dead, that as Christians, we will reunite with them in his kingdom. But NGT, I want you to be strong. And I pray that God grants you the strength to bear this loss. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. One day, we all be like this. I want you to understand there are things in life we cannot change. And death is one of them. It's inevitable. I want you to accept this situation as an avoidable fit. For like I said, God knows the best. And I want you to be very strong, not just for yourself, but for your daughter. Home the mother just left. She needs you now more than ever. I pray to Almighty God that He should sustain this household with the strength to bear this loss. Let me assure you that we, as your Christian family and friends, we always be there for you now that you need us the most. I pray that God will comfort you and your household. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. Well, how are you coping with that down? Huh? What did? It's still heavy in here knowing that my wife would have been alive if I had taken her calls. I mean, I feel like I killed my wife. Come on, come out of it, please. Come out of it. You did not kill your wife. Huh? Probably it was bound to happen. Okay? Please, don't let this weigh you down. Honestly, I don't know if I will ever forgive myself in this life. I wish I could take back the hands of time. You really have to forgive yourself, bro. Forgive yourself. You see? You... You have to come out of this guilt you have in your heart. It will make you toxic to everyone that comes around you, including Ada. And you know this is the time she needs you most. Come on, bro, please. Please, you, 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 need, you need to really come out of this. Huh? Uh, by the way, I've not heard her voice since I came around. Hope she's around. Yeah, she's around. She's upstairs sleeping. My wife suggested she should come over and stay with us over the weekend while you have time for yourself at least, you know. Know how to forge ahead. Okay? Mm. That's so thoughtful of her. I appreciate it. For God's sake, AGK, we are family. Ada is our responsibility. Frank, honestly, I thank you a lot. Honestly. You know, you've been here for me. You've been a source of strength to me. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Dalorin. You don't need to thank me. Drink. One more, Dalorin. Drink, please. 
Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, Marike Jaka. Though it's so heavy on me, but well, I mean, they won't blame God. Should I get you more drinks? <laughs> more? When you've already soaked me in a bottle of champagne. <laughs> Please, I'm okay with this. <laughs> I have a surprise for you. Surprises, right? <laughs> Come on. Daughter's room. Yes, I see. You need to see where she hid the money. She hid it down, down her back. Is it true? Will you shut up your mouth, you just liar? Did you not collect my money? What? Are you are you trying to call me a liar? Are you trying to say that I, I, I'm a liar because because she's your, your precious daughter that I was caught in the act and not my son? That's not what I'm saying. I'm trying to get the fact from her. I'm trying to know, understand what really happened. Why, why she did so. You are trying to call me a liar, Abby. You are trying to call me a liar because of this this. I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. Look at her, thief. <laughs> 